This is Disaster City at Texas A&M. A massive outdoor classroom set among crumbling buildings, smashed buses, and wrecked freight cars. The training facility is actually designed to train people, search and rescue task forces, and dogs. Here, Dr. Robin Murphy and her team test robots, too. It's technology used in rescues all over the world. Last year, the front lines were close to home after Hurricane Harvey roared into town. Robots have saved lives, but it's kind of hard to capture that. They're aiding and abetting the rescuers of responders. During the frenzied days after Harvey, her team guided these drones on more than 100 missions, providing rescuers information on escape routes, damage levees, and those desperate for help. They're invaluable. They in Fort Bend County, Judge Bob Herbert called the shots as emergency crews and volunteers rescued more than 49,000 people. He's grateful for the help from Dr. Murphy and the robots. They do things that we humans can't do. The robots are versatile with ever evolving technology deployed in global disasters like the September 11th attack, Japan tsunami, Mexico City's earthquake, and Hawaii's Kilauea volcano eruption. This is Bujol. She was one of the robots that was used at the World Trade Center. Each robot has a different specialty. Bujol is used to find survivors in a collapsed building. She can change her shape. These robots can squeeze into tight, dangerous spaces, going faster and farther to bring back life-saving information. We believe that robots being the difference between life and death, it's now getting unethical not to use them. In the future, Dr. Murphy believes an army of robots will become a critical part of every emergency response. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, College Station, Texas. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.